गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी स्टडी कुलम्स लॉ इन वेक्टर फॉर्म नाउ सी द डायग्राम कंसिडर टू पॉजिटिव पॉइंट चार्जेस Q1 वन एंड क्यू टू प्लेस्ड इन वैक्यूम एट डिस्टेंस आर फ्रॉम ईच अदर दे रिपेल ईच अदर हियर यू सी Q1, Q2, they are two positive charges and distance between them is R and you see repulsive Coulombian force for Q1, Q2 more than zero. In vector form, Coulomb's law may be expressed as F21 is equal to force on Q2 due to Q1. So we can write F21 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 upon R square into unit vector R12. Here you see unit vector R12 R cap 12 is equal to R12 upon R. Now this quantity is a unit vector in the direction from Q1 to Q2. Similarly, F21 be the force on Q1 due to Q2. Therefore, we can write F21 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 upon R square into R cap to 1. Here you see where R21 is equal to vector R21 upon R. It is a unit vector in the direction from Q2 to Q1. The Columbian forces between unlike charges, for unlike charges, you see Q1, Q2 less than 0 are attractive. Now see the diagram. We have considered two unlike charges, Q1 positive and Q2 negative. Let distance between them be R. So, Attractive Columbian forces for Q1, Q2 less than 0. Here you see the diagram shows attractive Columbian forces for Q1, Q2 less than 0. Here you see repulsive Columbian forces for Q1, Q2 more than 0. Now come to importance of vector form C number 1 as R21 is equal to minus of R12 therefore we can write F21 is equal to minus of F12 what does it mean this means that the two charges exert equal and opposite forces on each other. So, Columbian forces obey Newton's third law of motion. You see, it obeys Newton's third law of motion. Now, number two, as the Columbian forces act along F12 or F21, that is, Along the line, along the line joining the centers of two charges, so they are central forces. Now come to range of Columbian forces. Columbian forces act over an enormous range of separation. R, this R was distance between two charges. C. Columbian forces act over an enormous range of separation from nuclear dimensions R is equal to 10 to the power minus 15 
meter to macroscopic distances as large as 10 to the power 18 meter. Inverse square law is valid over this range of separation to a high degree of accuracy. Now, come to limitations of Coulomb's law. First limitation, the electric charges must be at rest. Second, the electric charges must be point charges. That is, the extension of charges must be much smaller than the separation between the charges. And third point, the separation between the charges must be greater than the nuclear size that is 10 to the power minus 15 meter 10 to the power minus 15 meter see because for distances less than this quantity 10 to the power minus 15 meter the strong nuclear force dominates over the electrostatic force. 